Good morning, good morning. I hope everybody is okay. I wanna to talk to you about distractions. Distractions in the world that keep you from paying attention, from listening to the word, and from obeying the word. Now, in Luke chapter 10, Jesus and his disciples come into a certain village, and Martha and Mary are there. Now, Martha is busy in the kitchen. She's invited Jesus to come over. Come on, I'm going to fix a meal. You know, like, so they're doing that. And Martha is running around from the kitchen to the dining room and everything else, trying to get everything straight. And she's got a sister, Mary. Now, Mary is not doing any of that. Jesus is talking and she is sitting at his feet, absorbing every single word that he says. And Martha comes in and she says, Jesus, like, aren't you going to say something to her? I'm sitting here like breaking my back, trying to make sure that everything is done to get this meal prepared for you and the disciples. And my sister's just sitting in here listening to you. And Jesus tells her this, and I want you to listen to this. He says, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. So he is letting us know right there that there is a lot of stuff going on in the world and you're going to be distracted by it if you are not giving him the attention that you should be. All of this right here is not going to do anything for you. It's not going to change anything because when you are a kingdom citizen, Everything falls into line for you. If it doesn't fall into line for you, it's not meant for you to have. It is not in his will. So stop letting all of these distractions like the bills and the people and, you know, the places and things. Let that stuff go. There is a time for everything. It says that in the book as well. You have to pay attention. When the word is in front of you, listen to it. Take it in. Meditate on it. And then after you have done that, then you give your attention to the things that you need to. Okay? Because remember, he takes care of our needs. He knows about everything that's going on. So don't let yourself be distracted by the world and the situations and the people and elections and all of this crazy stuff. Focus on the word. When it is in front of you, that's where your attention should be. Because there will be a point in time where we don't have it in front of us and it's going to be inside of us. If it's not inside of us, then we're going to be in trouble. So take it in now. Meditate on it now. And stop letting things distract you. Okay? Have a wonderful day. God bless you. I love you. And God loves you more. Bye.